Today, um, I'm calling time on my AFL career. This will be my last week. He's one of the great teammates. He supports his mates as well as anyone. He's a family man, and that is one of the great forms of leadership. We admire him as a player, but the admiration of going what he went through and coming back, it's a different admiration. I'm proud and grateful of what I've overcome in the past few years and for the club to give me the best chance and opportunity to play AFL footy again. I remember playing against him. The battles that we had with 2014 and 15 when he was at the top of his game. Someone who was competitive is what he is. He could have four guys hanging off him and he'd win a contested ball. Um, I mean, I, I remember countless times he would have 20 plus contested possessions. I don't think people can speak highly enough of that bloke. Cunnington arrived like the Pony Express. No one's epitomised the Kangaroos more than, than Ben or personified the Kangaroos Footy Club. You know, just just uncompromising attack on the footy. Cunnington, and he kicked his first goal in AFL footy. One of the most pleasing parts of being involved in football is watching boys grow into men and, and the people they, they become. And... He gave it all he had. The club means the world to me as I've almost spent half my life here. The learnings, the memories and the relationships that I've made will last a lifetime. Anyone who's played with him, and certainly those who coach against him or play against him, <laughs> they know they've been in a contest when you've played against Ben Cunnington. I 